cookies! I hate this thing! Yup, that's me. On the verge of throwing my ergonomic keyboard through the window. But that could perfectly be you. You just spent over $300 on a keyboard, and it's like you forgot how to type. It's missing some keys, and instead of having a space bar, you have these weird looking keys. And it breaks in half! And I hate it! First off, the price tag on these keyboards is no joke. Yeah, you can get some cheap ergonomic keyboards from Amazon at around $150, but the mechanical split programmable keyboards usually start at 300 bucks, and you can easily spend over $600. That's a lot of money. What you gonna do, Jerry? Show me the money! But let's say that after extensive research, you decide to get the Digma Race. It's a cool looking keyboard with all the features you need, and they have this funny girl explaining everything on their YouTube videos. <laughs> okay, this looks lush, but what are these things? A few moments later. Huh, that wasn't too bad. Now let's see what this thing can do. Hey, wait a minute. Where are the F keys and the number pad and the arrow keys? How do you even type on this thing? And what are those? The thing is, when you start typing on these things, you'll instantly notice that some things aren't where you expect them to be. For example, you have multiple keys for your thumbs instead of a space bar. Then when it's split, you'll learn that you didn't have touch typing abilities. You're used to hitting some keys with the other hand, like B with your right hand or Y with your left. Finally, the F and arrow keys are hidden in another layer you access with a function key. All that messes with your muscle memory, and retraining it can be frustrating sometimes. But you decide to bite the bullet. Slowly but surely, you'll get there. Eventually, you'll be able to split the keyboard shoulder width apart, just like what that Asian girl said. Great! Your posture improved. If you suffered from RSI or any keyboard-based injury, that's all gone now. But I still don't know what to do with these other keys! Well, it's time to open up the configurator software Basecore and try to figure this out. Wait! I can change any key to any function I want and it can be placed anywhere on the keyboard? Now we're talking. It all makes sense now, right? Ergonomic keyboards are designed for efficiency and comfort. By having your most used keys like enter, backspace, shift, or control on the thumb keys, you can comfortably rest your hands on the palm pads, avoiding those unnecessary hand movements when typing on a regular keyboard. In addition, on this keyboard, a key can have two, no, five functions. You can also create different macros for repetitive tasks that you do daily and put them in different layers. Huh, okay, layers. I've heard about this before, but what are layers? With layers, you can configure your keyboard to have the most efficient layout that works for you. Layer two can have your F keys, number pad, and arrow keys. Layer three is your work macros. Layer four, a gaming layer. Layer five is a video editing layer. And layer six is for all those fancy symbols and characters. You decide to go all ham. Then one day, you forget to switch to your gaming layer in a very important Candy Crush tournament. You press the wrong key and panic. You can't remember all those shortcuts and macros you configured before, and you lose. You mess up big time. <gasps> no! No! Your friends no! despise you. Now you're all alone with this keyboard that cost you a whole month's rent. This keyboard is going to the bin. Well, that was a waste of time. You go back to your one, your only, your HP keyboard. But then you realized, as time passed, it wasn't the same. You've been so spoiled with having all those features. The mechanical switches, the palm rests, the thumb keys, all your custom layers. You even got a tenting kit for extra comfort and ergonomics. But the traditional keyboard just looks and feels like ancient history now. Typing on a non-split keyboard feels unnatural. You constantly press a non-existent thumb key, hoping it activates your second layer with the macros you use daily. You hold on to the number three, hoping it takes a screenshot as you configured, but instead you get a flood of number threes and resort to the old-fashioned way of taking screenshots. 
You now have to move your entire hand to press the arrow keys instead of them being just right under your fingertips. That ergonomic keyboard ruined your chances of enjoying a regular keyboard. You have no choice but to go back. When it's your first time using an ergonomic keyboard, it's common for you to feel frustrated in the beginning. In the beginning. In the beginning. After all, you've been using the keyboard a certain way for many, many years, and changing habits is not easy. That's why you might hate your ergonomic keyboard at first, but you'll become BFFs sooner than you think. Did we just become best friends? Yep! Because if you work or game long hours on the computer, having an ergonomic split programmable keyboard is just better for you. Better for your health and better for your workflow. So to stop you from hating your ergonomic keyboard, take things step by step. Learn how to touch type if you don't know yet. Split the halves gradually. Configure your keys one at a time. Eventually, use more layers. Then experiment with macros and super keys. You don't need to rush or make dramatic changes, but believe me, once you get the hang of your new ergonomic keyboard, you'll work more efficiently and comfortably. And you'll never want to go back to a traditional keyboard ever again. Oh! Too loud? BFFs.